So in today's video, you are gonna see what to do with a dog that is not amazingly well-trained and how to work with them and the owner on a shoot. Today we're going to be in the woods, very close to home, photographing the most adorable dog in the whole wide world, who coincidentally isn't amazingly well trained. He is a beautiful dog and brilliant to work with, but he does not have, you know, a reliable weight or anything like that. So we captured this video basically to be able to show you guys what I would do if I'm with a dog that maybe doesn't have a solid weight or isn't reliable when, you know, if you're in like the woods or a environment where potentially it's quite dangerous if they were to run off. So the whole of this session is done with the dog on a lead and you guys will get to see what I would speak to the owner about, how I would direct them and also basically just what I would do on a shoot. I am not gonna be speaking at the camera very much in this particular session when we actually get going. And I'm gonna show you just a few pictures that we take throughout the session. I will try and include the straight out of camera and the edited files, but I'm not gonna edit every picture from this session because this was not a session where I was going to edit every picture from the session. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you haven't already, please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. The bell icon helps you out because it gives you a notification every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the shoot. I'll meet you in the woods. So Percy is six months old. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from eating sticks, what, what behaviours does he know? So we'll do a sit yeah. for some snacks. Yeah. Probably best to keep him on a lead. He won't like run off. He won't run off. Yeah. He just might not stay in the right place. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's fine. Will he be scared or uncomfortable if he's like put on a log? If it's a smallish log, like this really, log over here. He'll really get scared, so probably not. He seems quite confident yeah. in that guy, to be honest. <laughs> Nothing fears him. Okay, right. That's good. So we've potentially got some logs. He's quite good at standing. Yeah. So that's good as well. But no, that's fine. So he doesn't know how to lie down on command. So we've got to sit, we've got to stand, um, a little bit of a stay, but yeah. probably keep him on lead for when we need to do the pictures, even though he's not yeah. gonna run away. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the woods and it was supposed to be cloudy, but it's not. So we're gonna shoot anyway with the light coming through, but we're just gonna take care to not have bright light behind. Because of how small Percy is in comparison to like a border collie, all of the pictures, I will be flat on the floor. So yesterday I was here photographing a dog. And I didn't realise until I got back to the car that my chin was covered in mud because I'd been literally face in the floor. So that's probably going to happen again <laughs> and that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll go to a few different locations in this wood with Percy. Um, and we're not looking to get a thousand different pictures in different scenes. We just want a few really solid ones. And for him, he likes his treats. So we'll see if we can rustle the treat packet for attention. But if we've got a really good location and a really good shot, then I will use vocal noises as normal. And we will probably get a head tilt. I would imagine. <laughs> I would imagine. Uh, kit 70 to 200 2.8 uh, GM, 70A7R3. Uh, that's it, really, to be honest. My settings, which I know, will be 1 200th of a second, ISO 1000, and 2.8, F2.8. And it never really changes in here. Slight up or down on the shutter speed. The reason why you can go so low on this 200 mil is because it's got image stabilization. So if you've got image stabilization, you can go uh, much lower with your shutter speed, which is why this lens is great. And that's it. Let's go shoot. Let's go down here. It's, I feel like it's not that, like it's not that sunny. We can work with some of the sun. Oops. So what we'll do is we'll take him into this gap, which is always a good photo gap, which is here. What we'll do is we'll put him probably about, so I'm lining basically looking at the lines in the back. So there is two lines of trees with the tree at the end. Don't worry about the tree at the end. What we'll do is we'll put him about here facing this way and then I will be over there. What we, what, do you remember from the shoot days how like we hold the lead? So we'll get him, I'll get his attention yeah. and then if you just step to a side with your lead as high as possible like so that your feet are yep. semi out the way yep. and then I'll say okay or good or whatever it might be and at that point you can move him out the way and I'll take another shot of the whole scene without you or him in it and then it's a lot easier for me to just take you out okay okay yeah. perfect Brilliant. so his spot we're not going to be that specific but his spot is 
about where that rock is. You can move the rock if you want to. Um, and in a straight line between here, because I'm going to be over there. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> Don't worry, he's okay. Perfect, good boy, give him another treat. Good boy. One done. Nice and straightforward. He's so cute though. I love his ears. Dan, can we get a Frenchie? So I probably don't need to say this to the camera because we've been here before, but always looking for scenes, lines, light all the time. So I'm not ignoring you, Lana, I promise. I'm just looking at everything going on in the background all of the light coming through. What, we, what I want is really to lift him off of the floor. Dog, will he be okay with the dog? There is a dog. Because he's smaller, I can look for smaller things than I would normally look for. But again, we need it to be in the shade. There's too much light. I reckon we go up to the dark bit. What do you think? Let's move on up. So we're gonna go back to the main track and then take a left and then go up there, okay? Off over here, okay. okay, with the snacks. Ow, tree branch. Oh! Do you need the packet? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, fine, fine. I'll leave you the packet, I'll just get his attention, yeah? Okay. I closed it, sorry. Thank you. That branch, he's having me. <whistles> Good boy! <laughs> Let me just check I got it. Bear with. Wish you do one more? Yeah. Kid boy. <laughs> Perfect, that'll do. Awesome. He's a professional. Onwards. Should we put him on, on the log? Because I've not videoed the log. So this is a log that's higher up off the floor. So if he's, if he's not comfortable and if you're not comfortable, or if he looks like he's just gonna move around too much, then we will stop and not do this, okay? because it's not worth an injury. It's just, it's just not, it never is. We've got bright light that way and less bright light that way. So what we'll do is we'll shoot that way, which is better for him because he's got more room to latch onto. Mm -hmm. Right, so the plan is, I'm gonna be over, over there, sort of on the floor against the log yeah. in the mud. And we want the little guy here. Okay. So do you see how that comes to like the top of a ridge there? and then goes back down. We kind of want his like front paws at the ridge. Okay. But you don't, don't worry about being too precise. Anywhere in this kind of zone is fine. Yeah. Potentially wait till I'm in position yeah. and then pick him up and put him on. Yeah. And potentially we might use Tom from Hull <laughs> to, to be a spotter at the other side. So if he looks like he's gonna fall off the other way, gotcha. Tom's there to potentially step in and just try and break. I mean, it's not a massive drop, but no. safety first. I mean, Great that he's confident. I just can't break a dog. <laughs> just, just can't break a dog. So if you wait till I get into position and then it depends what side you want to be on. I'm left-handed, so I'd, I'd be probably be like this side. So he's like here. But if you're right-handed, you'll probably go that side. And then um, just stay as far as possible out of the way. But it's okay. And then for this one, I'm definitely going to take another one with, ne with none of you in it. Okay? Brilliant. Everybody is briefed. Don't fall over. I'm gonna go from this log actually this time, I think. Yeah, ready. Okay, have him off. Perfect. The reason why I'm taking quite a few pictures in one go is because I only have one shot to get this shot. I feel like I'm gonna start seeing Eminem. I don't wanna be in a situation, cause I'm shooting at 2.8 at 200 mil. It's a tiny little slither of focus. I don't wanna be in a situation where the focus has accidentally picked up his nose and I've taken one shot and that's it because then I'm screwed. And although it's fine for like Instagram, that's not good for the purpose of why we're shooting these. So that's why I'm constantly got my finger, my thumb on the bad button focus. So it's constantly refocusing on the focus point. And as I move slightly, it's gonna hunt and just grab on a little bit. So out of say three or four pitches that I've shot in quick succession, the focus point at every single one is slightly different. 
And so I know 100% one of them is absolutely perfect. And then when Lana took Percy off of the log and I took another shot, that was purely so that I could easily composite out Lana in the lead because she was there spotting. Does that make sense? I feel like that'll make sense. Yeah, we're done here. Fabulous. Job done? Finished Yeah. I'm happy. I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for being so supportive and also helping our Instagram channel grow. That's been brilliant. And also, just super quickly, if you need any help or advice, please do go ahead and join the Facebook group where there are loads of people who can help you out there. And if you haven't already, you will also notice that there is a blog post below in the description. On the blog, there is a subscribe form to join our email list. Emails get sent once a month and never more than that. You will get a digest with all of the things that happened in that month, as well as any new announcement that's come out. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Also join us on Instagram because that would be cool. I often do lots of interactive stuff and post basically a picture a day, which is quite fun, I think. And... Yeah, you know, I think that's it. I will see you all again very, very soon. Thanks so much.